hello my dear this is Joel Kumar Sen well let me set little bit camera okay that's great I hope you are see, you can see right now question in front of you this question has been asked in gate 2001 so if you are little aware little aware about uh, you know HMT that is heat and mass transfer HMT then probably you have heard about view factor in radiation view factor this is one of the most this is one of the most important topic for gate point of view so today you are going to get information regarding this because i am going to solve consecutively three questions those has been asked in gate uh, year by year by using this concept that is view factor on this topic i can say so how you can solve this type of question so let me uh, tell you before going to solve this question just study little bit about view factor just like what is reciprocity theorem Reci reciprocity theorem what is view factor exactly if you will understand those things then you can understand what i am going to tell you or i am going to share with you while solving these questions okay so let's start here we have a diagram we have a diagram here we have three fact my three a uh, viewpoint one two three as shown in this diagram now first uh, let me read this uh, question for the circular tube as we can see this is a circular tube uh, of equal length and diameter as shown in the diagram the view factor f12 in this case will be uh, there is a thing a uh, little bit missing if f13 is equal to 0.17 we have given another one thing that is f13 is equal to this so there is a theorem in a view factor we are have we are having maximum value that is 1 so here we can write f12 plus f f11 plus f12 plus f13 is equal to 1 now here we can see from f1 it is really you know it will we cannot uh, uh, get radiation uh, those are getting or radiation we are getting from this here from here from 1 to 1 I mean this will not go back this is this will be like this from here it will come uh, it will uh, it will come from here from here and it will come to here here and here 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 also it will not again come back to this point to this one getting my point so for this reason here we have f11 is equal to 0 now we have remaining only two terms those are f12 and f13 here we have given f13 is 0 0.17 if i will move this side then minus 0 0.17 so the answer would be 0 0.83 so uh, you can see here we are having we are having you know point d uh, that is the correct answer for this question i hope you understand it now before going to solve before going to solve the reciprocity theorem let me share with you what is it because the next question would be based on little bit reciprocity theorem okay so what is reciprocity theorem so it is like this if we are having any body if you are having any body that means suppose that this is a body one and this is a body two body one and body two so reciprocity theorem said that a1 suppose this is one a1 f a1 f12 a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 so this is simple f1 f1 uh, sorry f12 into a1 is equal to a2 f21 so this is known as reciprocity theorem so how we are going to use this theorem for solving numerical problems let me share with you okay now we have another question let me just move this uh, this one okay now here is it yes you got it yeah i hope you can see the whole question because i have just said this at the camera yes now consider two infinite long thin concentric tubes of circular cross section as shown in figure if d1 d2 are the diameters of the inner and outer tube respectively then view factor of f22 is given by 
this one this one this one this one again this question ask in gate i hope you uh, maybe you have solved or maybe you haven't so how you are going to solve or how you can solve this type of problem quite simple way now we are having one point is this let me use another one yes one point is this and two point is this so the inner one is known as one the outer one is known as two so we know f we have used uh, use this formula in the previous question f one one plus f one two is equal to one f one one plus f one two is equal to one we know this formula now again we are having formula a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 now we can write another formula that is f21 plus f22 is equal to 1 we have to find out this one f22 now i can write f22 is equal to is equal to 1 minus 1 minus f21 so if i can find out ft1 by using these formulas then easily i can able to find out what is f22 so what is f21 let me find out okay now here i can see if radiation will be radiation this electromagnetic waves will be coming out from this it will not come back to the one because it will be it will you know it is a convex surface so f11 is equal to zero so what is remaining f12 is equal to 1 what is remaining f12 is equal to 1 now if i will put this value here so this become 1 now what is remaining here f21 is equal to a1 by a2 so remaining would be d1 upon d2 because the area pi pi 4 d square d1 square plus d2 square so squares are removing now we are having only d1 d2 so whatever because the answer is in d1 upon d2 so this would be like this d1 upon d2 now we have f21 is equal to 1 minus d1 upon d2 which answer is matching d so the right answer for this question is d i hope you understand how i am solving this question okay now let's move to the another question this is a little bit tricky but you can understand it okay now you can see another question here yes this is also this is also a question of view factor as in 2002 two marks question so now understand how important is to solve view factor question for gate point of view okay now we are having uh, a question let me read and uh, to make you understand i have to read okay, because i have to also understand this question what is the value of the view factor for two inclined flat plates so there are two inclined flat plates having common A's of equal length and with an angle of 20 degrees. This is the most important. For this case, we have a simple formula that is so F12 is equal to F21 is equal to 1 minus sine theta by 2. This is a common formula for such type of question. So 1 minus sine 20 by 2 is equal to uh, this is sine 10 degree so now i i have to use calculator so i have a calculator in front of you this is a calculator so this is zero 1 minus sine 10 degree 10 degree oh sorry 10 degree is equal to how much point point 8263 that means point 83 so answer matching yes the a1 so 0.83 is the right answer for this question i hope you understand how i am solving these questions well to understand much better way i will suggest you to read any book of to this topic on this topic view factor and uh, i am sure you are going to understand about uh, these questions i mean uh, read those things properly basic things and then come back to my videos because basically this video uh, these videos are most advanced videos because i am sharing with you gate problems so you have to understand the basic concept before going to watch these videos well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye